Cost-Benefit Analysis for Development Projects Developed by Jules Dupuy in 1848, Cost-Benefit Analysis assesses the relationship between the costs incurred and benefits accrued when we undertake a development intervention. Each cost and benefit is expressed as a monetary value. Imagine we have a food processing cooperative serving a rural area and supporting local farms. A problem is untreated liquid waste polluting the local water source, making people sick and the land toxic. Cooperative members think building an effluent treatment facility will solve the problem. So first, they write down all the costs and include the building, machinery, labor, etc. They also write down the less obvious costs, such as a loss of revenue rented to a local bus company for parking. The members then brainstorm the benefits. Some are easy to monetize, such as the savings on their water bill, as they will recycle water. They have agreed that two neighboring factories will pay the cooperative to use the effluent plant, and sick day leaves will be reduced. Harder are the social and environmental benefits. These include the monetary value of improved health in the local community and increased agricultural production. For each, a method to value each benefit is calculated. To do the calculation costs, they must be calculated to the present value at time zero, being the beginning of the project, as well as the benefits being calculated at time zero. To make sure all non-monetized costs and benefits are treated the same way, the cost or benefit must be assessed from the point of view of the affected stakeholder and not from that of the food processing cooperative only. We can reverse it and call it benefit cost analysis and produce a benefit cost ratio. If the figure is greater than one, you have a positive benefit. To learn more, visit PMEAcademy.com.